Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enhance a photo using Adobe Photoshop. So if I open up this folder, I've got this picture of this landscape here. You can see the sky is a bit dark and dull. Um, and we want to just try and improve the overall sort of image here. Try and give it a bit more vibrancy using Photoshop. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. This same image I'll put in the YouTube description so you can download it. So you'll find a link to this particular image if you check the YouTube description. I'll drag and drop this into Photoshop. And the first thing we want to do is create a selection just to isolate the sky here. So we'll use the quick select tool and we'll click on the uh, create selection here and I'll set the brush size to around 100. Let's set it to around 100. And we're going to start dragging from here and we're going to select these mountains, right? So we want to stay like in here and select all of these mountains here. And then we just want to drag down here and select all of the bottom here. So now it's isolated or it's selected everything at the bottom. We actually want we actually want to select the sky itself. So we're going to go to select and inverse. So now we've got the sky part selected only, and you can see the mountain ridge across here. So let's manipulate the sky first. Let's go to layer, adjustment layer, and we want to go to vibrancy here. So we'll click on vibrancy and click OK, and then we can increase the vibrancy. And you can see like here's like grayscale. You could do some nice arty sort of things in here. You could grayscale it out if you wanted. But I want to add some more vibrancy and add some more saturation to get these colors popping out a lot more, right? A bit like a HDRI image. A um, bit more vibrancy in there. Not too much, so it looks fake, but um, something like around here. So this is really down to your own um, perception, what you like, right? But I like quite a lot of color in that sky. If you've got to overdo it, then it looks a bit too much. So you want to make sure you don't overdo it. But this this seems to be okay around here. And then we'll click back on this vibrancy layer here. And we'll go back to select. Uh, let's go back to layer. Let's go to um, uh, new adjustment layer. And we'll select hue and saturation this time. So we'll add a hue and saturation. And we just want to change the color slightly on the hue. So that we can change the color, we can bring out a bit more vibrancy there as well and increase the saturation a little bit as well. Just a tiny amount, not too much, something like this. Okay, I'll just click back on this background layer down at the bottom here and we're going to go back to our selection tool. Let's click here and this time we're going to select only this green part, the grass. So let's go ahead and select that. Let's just make sure we get it all. Just go roughly around the edge here and it will get most of this here, right? All of this. So this part is selected now. We can manipulate this separately. So let's go to layer. Let's go to adjustment layer. And this time we want to select uh, photo filter here. So we select photo filter. And inside here you've got different options of different types. So you can have warming, you can have cool, you can have red, you can have all these different colors like deep emerald. And it will change the color in the image. And you can change the density here. You can change like the, uh, the, the the colors really in this photograph, right? In the foreground. That's what we're trying to manipulate. So really, I want to select something like uh, warming, right? I want it to be warm uh, to give it vibrancy. So something like this will be good. And I think that's quite an improvement on the previous image, the original image we had. So this has got a lot more vibrancy in it now. Um, the one thing we might do also. And you can preserve the luminosity, right? So you want to preserve the luminosity here. Turn that on. I think that's going to look pretty good. And then we'll click um, back on this background layer. And we will, in fact, what we'll do is uh, let's click on this image here. This image right here. We'll go to layer. Let's go to new adjustment layer. And we'll go to hue and saturation. And we'll just slightly tweak this hue here. Let's try and get it to look quite right because i think over here it's way too like if you, you can go all crazy right and do some crazy colors if that's what you're looking for but i want it to still look realistic as well i don't want any greens in the sky here so something around here is going to be about right so i think overall that's going to look pretty good so that's quite i think that's an improvement on the previous image but we're going to cross check them we're going to put them side by side in a moment to see what they look like let's save it as a photoshop file for first Let's go to save as and we'll just save it as a PSD. It's always nice to go back and be able to tweak these afterwards. Let's go to export 
export as, and let's just save it as a JPEG file here, and click export all, and we'll save it in here, and let's just call it uh, 01, and save it. And let's close down Photoshop, we'll save this, and this is our original image on the left hand side, and this is our enhanced image on the right hand side. So I don't know what you think. I think the right hand image has got a lot more vibrancy, a lot more color in there. The clouds look a bit more, you know, got nice colors going through there. The sky looks a bit more brighter. It's almost like a HDRI photo if you sort of put them side by side. So I think that's an improvement. Hopefully you'll see the same as well. And you can now go and manipulate. It doesn't have to be um, a landscape image. It can be any type of picture, right? Anything that's got a nice variation of color normally works. This technique works well on. So that's how I go about enhancing images using Photoshop. This is just one example. I will be making some other examples as well. There's many different ways to use Photoshop to enhance images. This is just a really quick and simple way for you to add some vibrancy to your photographs. So if you're going on a holiday and you take some nice photographs and maybe you want to enhance them in some way, then you can keep your original copy. So keep make sure you always keep your original copy of your photo and then you can manipulate and create a new version. And you can just you know, work out which one you like. Um, maybe this will be nice to print out and put on your wall or something, right? Make a little post or something out of it. Okay, let's close this down. That's the end of this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.